this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to use photo filters and how to use them to enhance and modify colors in your photos using these filters. Now the interesting thing about um, photo filters is that um, they are, they're actually sort of adapted from uh, actual photo filters that you could apply normally when you're shooting uh, with a you know with a regular camera that's non-digital to change colors and so forth. What you had to do is just apply these uh, these filters, things that would snap onto the front of your lens, which uh, would then you know you could apply a warming filter that would make everything look a little bit warmer, so a little bit more on the uh, on the uh, like sort of brownish side, cooler, so more on the blue side and so forth. Uh, the advantage of Photoshop is that you can kind of go crazy with these photo filters. You could pretend that you're putting one quarter of the filter on the sky and a different filter down at the bottom, ignoring some other parts. So obviously there's a lot you can do with Photoshop that you couldn't do traditionally, uh, but still using this traditional sense of using photo filters. So you're just trying to modify uh, your photo slightly, by placing things in front of your lens, per se. So uh, let's have a look at how we do this. Okay, so the way that we uh, add photo filters is we can, we can add them here as an, uh, as an adjustment layer. So we can go ahead and click on that and go to photo filter right here. And with photo filter, we have uh, a few presets here. We, there's a, for example, there's a warming filter. Let me just increase the density here for you to see. And uh, we can take off the preview here. And the warming filter just makes, uh, it sort of ex accentuates here the yellow. Uh, makes everything overall uh, sort of this uh, this color here slightly. And um, like I said, what you can do with these uh, photo filters is uh, actually choose to only apply them to certain parts. Obviously, this is kind of killing the sky, so that's not what we want right now. But like I said, there are some presets here. For example, violet would be kind of nice to accentuate the sky, but not here down at the bottom. And so th those are some presets, which essentially is just some colors here, some preset colors that uh, Photoshop has. These are sort of the traditional filters that you could have, you could use. Or you can just go ahead and click on color. And by clicking on color, then you can click on it and then you're essentially just choosing the color that you want to apply yourself here from just the range of colors. Obviously this is, uh, if you're not familiar with this look here, all we're doing is just seeing the saturation view of this. You can look at the traditional hue uh, view of things, which is to select the hue and then you can select, actually select the hue here and then the saturation and luminosity here. Um, a little bit easier to just work with the colors is to be working with the uh, saturation here so that uh, you can increase the saturation and then just change the colors as you like, making them darker or lighter, right? Okay, so we're just going to select here a nice deep blue here. Click OK, and we're going to increase the density of 100% here for you to see what's going on. So make sure Preserve Luminosity is, is selected. Just pay attention here to the sky. And we can see it before and the after. You can go here into the color, and then you can see that you can just play around with the sky color, um, changing things, making them not as intense and so forth. So I'm just going to go ahead and just select something around here. I think that's pretty good. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. Now, like I said, we want to do sort of like a split filter type of thing. So we want to make sure that we're only applying a filter to a uh, certain region. So here, this filter just to the sky. So I'm going to unview this uh, this photo filter for now. And what I'll do is I'll just go to a select and color range. And because um, the the colors of this photo here are pretty much to select the sky that there isn't anything else that is blue. It's kind of actually pretty easy to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and click to select the color here. And I'm going to uh, click on the plus here to just select more variations on this white here, making sure that we are selecting the totality here of the sky. And we can play around with the uh, fuzziness a little bit here as well. And um, here we can make sure that we are selecting just the sky here. So everything in white is being selected you can not pay attention to these parts here because we can easily deselect that. So we just want to make sure that we're selecting the sky. Click OK. And now we're just going to deselect these parts here with the minus, making sure we're not selecting anything else here. So essentially just the sky. So we're going to our photo filter here. And now we'll do a uh, alt and backspace because black is my foreground color here at the moment. So that's alt and backspace. And now I'll deselect and inverse. So all we're doing here is just making sure that a filter is blocking out everything else other than the sky. So there we are. So the white not being blocked out and the black is being blocked out and not affecting that color. So now we have that uh, purple color in the sky and now we can concentrate here down at the bottom. So we'll duplicate this 
And the easiest way to actually make sure that we're not affecting this guy and we are just doing the foreground color is just inverting this again. So we just control I to inverse. And there we have it. And now we can go into our photo filter. And I'm just going to use a preset here. We can go into the filter here. And uh, you can say what you want to make any changes to the uh, the way that these filters work, the different colors. So there's uh, some warming options. Traditionally, you'd be using warming or cooling filters in traditional photography. So you can look at, you know, what the cooling filter would do. Um, of course, we are at 100% here. So you probably want to dock down the density here to something lower and uh, pay attention to what is it that the cooling filter is doing and see what it is that you like. So... I pretty much like actually what the warming cool filters are doing as opposed to the cool one. So with this image here, warming filters are working really well. And I'm just going to increase the density here just to make sure that I'm in sort of matching the density here of the sky to matching just the visual density, not the number we used before, but the visual density that we used for the sky and the visual density here for the foreground color. And we just want to strike a balance here so it doesn't seem out of place. So I think something like this actually works pretty well. Go ahead and click OK. And now we can remove that. You can see that you're sort of accentuating that color here. But um, there's one thing that I don't actually like. If you pay attention here to the um, to to the to the grass, and this is kind of tricky here to show you this grass. Let me try to move this down here. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to take off here the photo filter. I'm not sure if you can pay attention that much, but the the grass is being sort of uh, looking a little sickly, a little dry uh, when we uh, apply the filter here. So uh, what I want to do here is just mask out that uh, part of the uh, the grass here. So we're just going to go ahead uh, with making sure we're on that layer in the layer mask. We're just going to go ahead and with white, with black, uh, we're going to just uh, remove uh, the filter here. So just removing the parts on anything that's sort of green here. I'm just removing that filter. So then bringing it back to what it used to be so that when we remove the filter, we're not seeing any change really. So it's the, the original color is preserved and we're sort of accentuating the brownness here, uh, golden uh, of this uh, the wheat field here. So there we are. Let me just uh, increase this here a little bit and I can show you the before and the after. So uh, that's a pretty nifty way to make some modifications using a traditional photography uh, technique, uh, although slightly modified and a lot more flexible. So there you are. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.